it means it's Ruin Who Day, and I am so glad to have a repeat who are in the house. Jonesy, my birthday pal. Hello. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ru. Thanks. We're birthday buddies. Guys. I know. So we're like Jim and I. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we are. Twins, we are definitely the, the twins. We're yeah, and today yeah. happens to be. Um, I don't know. This gingerbread day. Gingerbread day. Gingerbread yeah. day. Isn't that strange? So I have ginger snacks. Right on. For for everybody who's sharing their skeletons. And Jonesy, I wanted to see. Do you use a computer bag ever? Would you like that as a birthday present? You sure. You can put anything you want in it. It's it's actually I'll, I'll put several from. Heads in it. You can put whatever you want in. It's from Nice Again or one, once again, once again, um, like nut butter and and. Nut butter. Yeah, oh, and and you're yeah. It's because I had an incident with them, and they redeemed themselves so nicely. I love you once again. I love you once again. How ironic is that? Because I was on the fence for a minute with them, and then they redeemed so much that I eat their almond butter pretty much yeah. daily. Well, thank you very much. You're so welcome. That's Happy awesome. birthday, Thanks. and it is. I'll put that to use. Good, good. June fifth. June fifth. Today is the day that uh, Mariah Carey got married to Tommy Mottola. And we all know how that ended up. Yep. Yeah, right? Not exactly. She has another husband now, a yeah, baby. Yeah, she she's insane, too. But Tommy Mottola was only the CEO of Sony Music. Yeah. So I don't know if she'd be... I mean, she, she's Mariah Carey. God bless her. But, like, yeah. she's a smart lady marrying Tommy Mottola for her first husband, I yeah. think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, she was young and in love. You know how that Doesn't is, right? Dwight Gooden return from drug rehabilitation and allows Wings game 87. 1987. Oh, allows Wings game. Uh, you know, I just copy and paste that. Yeah. You know, it makes me happy that I'm not the only one that grammatically speaks incorrectly. Uh, time After Time became a number one hit in 1984. On this day. That was a big hit. That was a big hit. That was everywhere. And now she's got that big hit on Broadway. Kinky right. Boots. Oh, yeah. That's her. That's her. Right. Go Cindy Lauper. Yeah, time after time, you're getting those number one hits. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, Paul McCartney released Flowers in the Dirt. I don't remember that, do you? 1989. But I know he's playing at the Barclays yeah, Center Monday night. Yeah, I do night. remember that very vaguely. That came out in 89, it says. I do remember him releasing something in that. Okay, that, that well, it was this day. Was Living he, on the Edge. That was a big hit, too. 18 on this day. That right. doesn't mean it didn't go higher on a right, different right. day, but on this day it was 18. Living on the Edge. You can let me have Yeah, he was just on... Um, I, I didn't like the... Uh, them by this point in time. I know. Although that's, that might be the one I liked from that. Yeah, album. but you got to give it up to this guy. He looks for I like Love in an Elevator. Too, I love Love in an Elevator. And not Jamie's Got a Gun, yeah, only I, because I love Leslie Ann Warren and I she saw, was in oh, that video. I saw her a couple times. I saw them only I saw once. Them in, I saw them on the Dunwood Mirrors tour in the mid-80s. Oh, um, that must have been good. Yeah, Ted Nugent opened. Okay, <laughs> all right. And then I saw them on the Permanent Vacation Tour, too. Wow, I saw them. And then I saw them at Woodstock, uh, 94. They were the, wow. Wait, was that them? Maybe. Oh, it's Woodstock. Like the redo? Yeah, the 94 one. Yeah. Um, the mudslide? Yeah, I think they were... It was like Nine Inch Nails, Metallica, and them that night. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. That was one of the. It was porn, porn, the porn. The mudslide. Right? Yeah. You see, if you see the, um, I think it was a Green Day video with the mud fight. If you ever see that, and um, they show these people sliding down a hill, which was a mudslide down a hill. I had to go down that mudslide hill at five four in the morning in the the, the worst part of that storm. And then go up another hill where there's a human chain to get up to the top. When you got to wow. the top, you had to turn around and help the next person. It was really Woodstock was fun. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It, it it has a you know yeah. a vibe yeah. definitely. Uh, do you do you remember the song Murphy's Law by Sherry? Nope. Me either. It hit 39 on this day. I just wondered if anyone would know it. Nightline presents its first town meeting. And the subject is AIDS, and the show runs until 3:47 a.m. on this day. Wow. I know. I had to put that. Yes. You know, we still are battling with AIDS. Yeah, it's just like a different kind of 
thing now. Yeah, I always put the AIDS things here. Better Center of Disease Control reports of pneumonia affecting gays. 1981. AIDS. 81. I know. It's that's when it was just starting. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it was it was just starting in, in the early 80s publicly right. and and making us aware that something yeah, is not Yeah, I remember right. by the time I got to 7th or 8th grade, which would be a couple years after that, that's when it was in the... Full blown. Yeah, like where yeah. people were like, you know, there was the old, everybody was using it as an insult. Yeah, so, you know, be smart people out there. You know, just because you don't hear about it in the same amounts, yeah. it's out there. Don't, Use safe sex. Don't be stupid. Yeah, wear a Jimmy hat. And You've got to. George Harrison released Somewhere in England on this day. And uh, another one I don't remember, but I do love George Harrison, so God bless that man. Bigfoot by Bro Smith. Ever hear of that one? No. It's 57 on it this sounds day. Like it's country. You know, it's almost it's almost like re re refreshing that we don't oh, know. Oh wow, that's right. What say? Oh, the Sir Ron Sir Ron. That's right. That happened on June 5th. This day, that yes. Was, I wasn't born yet. Though. He died the next day, June yeah. 6th. But he got shot on the fifth. He got shot at the on the fifth. Yeah. yeah. Bobby Kennedy. Mwah. All in the whole week of his brother's birthday, Marilyn's birthday, and and him getting shot. It's yeah. it's all this week. The first week of Gemini is a know. lot of action goes on in this week. On uh, this on my actual birthday. Um, the, What's uh, your actual birthday? 1970. Okay. Uh, Sid Barrett recorded "Baby Lemonade." And Wine and Dying did one other song. All in those sessions are the ones that ended up on the album Barrett. Do you know who shares your birthday? I know a lot of people who share my birthday. I'm going to tell you a few. Uh, Mark Wahlberg shares Marky your Mark? birthday. Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. Yes, he does. And um, oh, Kenny G. <laughs> Kenny G shares there's, your there's birthday. A cool guy, huh? Yeah, you can read him out. Oh, look at that. Nico McBrain from Yeah. Uh, from uh, Iron Maiden, I think. Yes. The drummer. I don't know Suze Orman. Suzy Orman? Yeah. Oh my God, she's. You, she, you, I don't know Frank Esther. Suzy Orman is is quite. Oh, the air supply guy. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. Fred Stone, from a uh, Sly and the Family Stone guitarist. Yes. Yes. Wow, You're cool. in good company. Laurie yeah. Anderson. You don't know who Laurie Anderson is? Um, she's married to. Uh, Superman. Walk on the Wild Side. Oh, Lou Reed. Yes. Um, Yes, she is. She's, a, you know, I'll tell you, Lori Anderson. I was just actually at a, 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 a friend whose friends, Lori Anderson, gave her loft to uh, a friend of mine to do a performance. Yeah. So I just was there, and she was there, and she's so sweet and wonderful. But the thing that stands out to me the most about her is I used to work at the Ritz. Mm -hmm. She was the only person that ever came there that while I was there that was on the guest list as a celebrity and insisted to pay. She was like, I don't like being on the guest list. I want the artist to get my money. Oh, that's pretty And I, that always stood out to me about Laurie Anderson. Wow. So happy birthday to you, Laurie Anderson. How about Catherine Hellman? Oh, I love she her. She was great. So, uh, she, wasn't she in... Uh, Who's the boss? Yes, the yeah, yes, Mona. Mona. Yeah. I know. Soap was a great show. Soap, oh my God. Soap was a really She's good the show. best. Happy birthday, Catherine Hunt. Spalding Gray, I mean, he's a very um, well known actor. I don't know if you remember him. Fuzzy Fuss Galdo from Captain Beefheart. Yes, his birthday <laughs> is today. And um, The Bad Finger Bassist. Yeah, but you know, this is something interesting too. Uh, we didn't go through all the things. Somebody named Davy Jones and the King Bees debut I Can't Help Thinking About Me. The group disbands, oh, but Davy Jones goes on to success right. as David Bowie. Davey Jones, Happened on this Davey day. Jones. He changed his name when the monkeys, I think. That Davy Jones yeah, became so popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Bowie's debut was on this day in history. Pretty cool, wow. man. Bob Dylan graduates from... Hibbing High School in Minnesota on this Wow. Day. Yeah. I think he figured in three years he was in New York changing the world. Yeah. Johnny Weissmuller, who is the original Tarzan, sets the 100-yard and 200-yard freestyle swim record on this day. He was a swimmer before he turned into Tarzan. Wow. Yeah. That's why he had that body. Woo! Tarzan! 
Well, that's crazy stuff. Yeah. A lot of people. I know. A lot of cool people. Yeah. Gillian Hills, born in Cairo, the actress in Clockwork R. And oh, I love that movie. Yeah. Birthday is today. Who and was she in that? So was she, which one was she in? I couldn't tell you. There weren't that many girls in it. It must be that one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And, and Stravinsky. The, oh, that, that, the that, famous composer. Oh, I like him. He shared his birthday, John. Oh, no wonder I like him. Yeah, and people who died on this day, the angels that are with us today. I remember Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan uh, Want to hear a funny, crazy yeah. story? I was at the Life Cafe in Brooklyn. Okay. The day he died, and they hadn't announced he died yet, and uh, the bartender's name was Reagan. And it was such a weird coincidence. Then we get when I'm driving off to my birthday gig. Um, they announced Ronald Reagan died. died, and it was like, and I just met somebody named Reagan. That was like, out of a random way. It was like really wild. That is, that is definitely yeah. one of those moments. Mel Torme, the singer oh, of Chestnuts, on and over fire, is an angel with us today. I knew Ronald Reagan. Conway son. Twitty. Yeah, Conway Twitty. Oh, but I had a friend who was a, a surfer guy I used to work with, and uh, he he would us uh, uh, was sharing a condo. With Conway Twitty? It was somebody, he was subletting it, I suppose, from someone who's in, who's friends with Conway Twitty, but it was hit Conway Twitty's actual condo on the beach in Myrtle Beach or whatever. Wow, yeah. that's giant. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow, so Conway Twitty is an angel with us today. John Paul Oh, I Eddie. hope I didn't just tell him. Just, <laughs> he's, he's just up thank there. me dead. <laughs> <laughs> John know. Paul Getty, the, the billionaire magnet, died on your birthday. Oh. And uh, Frank Von der Oh, Post. the Getty. Yes. Getty, oh, yeah. That Getty. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, this guy, the Marxist theory. I yeah. thought that was interesting. Yes, it is. Right? Yeah. And um, this was interesting Yoda? only because... Yeah. <laughs> I, I wonder if they got Yoda from this because the English-speaking bishop of Utrecht? Where is Utrecht? Number one, and it's written as the English speaking bishop. That's got to be like. In, um, in the year 754. Yeah, that that's that's like, is a crazy story. He was murdered on this day. Wow. So I thought I'd like to have him as an angel in our room with us today. Yeah. And uh, so, in honor of your birthday, Mr. Brian Defiance, would you like the first ginger? Do I have to give you a skeleton? Yeah. Right on. Do you need these skeletons? Um, yeah. <laughs> so do you have a good skeleton for us? Yeah, I guess one. <laughs> Just one for now. You can take tell more later if you want. Um I I I, I drink whiskey. I, I used to not drink whiskey and I drank whiskey. You might not know that about people. Oh, and do you have a favorite whiskey or any whiskey? Oh, that's, that's actually I'm really liking rye. I know a lot of people that like that, but it reminds me of my friend Gail. Yeah, that's actually I, it's not really a skeleton, but a lot of people don't know that about me. Cause I'm, most people would tell you I'm a vodka or tequila guy. Oh, that's what I was. Yeah. Vodka tequila. Oh, I love vodka tequila. White wine. I have been drinking whiskey. And I just want to plug months. Teenage. It's a new fan magazine. It's a really cool magazine that's coming out of California and. Um, there's amazing articles in here of so many things. You can check it out. And we have a little, uh, not article, but a little picture of Ruin Who. So that's kind of cool. That's and awesome. Um, it's awesome. So, you know, you can find it on Facebook and all the normal places. And uh, it's pretty cool. Cherry Vanilla is on the cover. And happy reading. We will be back on Happy Birthday, Joe. And happy birthday, Ruby. Yeah. Hello, kids. Sometimes they come in and have a drink. Well, I walk through the empty room, lit by big candles. And I saw her sitting alone. I will stay strong.